Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so I'm sorry it's been a while since I put up a video, but I've been really, really busy with work, and as you know, I started my new full-time position a couple months ago, and it's been going great, but uh, it takes a lot of time. But nonetheless, I wanted to put up a video today to kind of give you um, a breakdown of what's been going on over the last month, where I'm at, where I'm going, what's happening, and I also have had a lot of questions from subscribers about how I like the new trailer. So I'm going to show you a couple of things, but um, the last month has been amazing in terms of um, traveling, and so I've had a great, great deal of fun, um, very limited stress, which is nice, but um, I was in Asheville, North Carolina, as you know, and if you follow me on Instagram um, or on Facebook at the Paddy Wagon 10, then you're probably pretty much up to date with what's going on, um, but if you don't, please click on over to those um, sites so that you can go ahead and join my Instagram and um, um, the uh, Paddy Wagon RV Vlogger page on Facebook. Uh, I'll link those in the description so that you have them. Let's see, so I left Asheville um, two weeks ago and I've got some video driving through the gorge which was a first for me um, and it really wasn't bad. You know, you gotta love those brake controllers. The brake controller on the truck worked beautiful. I very rarely even use the brakes on the truck um, because the brake controller works so well. And I had the settings perfect, which is really nice. Um, once I got out of the gorge, um, let's see, I had left on a Friday afternoon. And, um, and I really wanted to say a special thanks to Fred um, with Hominy Park, um, Hominy Valley RV Park in uh, Candler, um, North Carolina. If you get a chance to stay at that park, um, definitely do so. It's beautiful, it's right off the side of a mountain, and, um, and it's a very beautiful area. And, and it's very easy to get to. Um, you gotta go up and down some pretty big mountains and some hills, but uh, for you experienced RVers, heck, that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, um, check them out. Uh, I'll link the website in the description in this video. So thanks again, Fred, you were great. So I left um, the Hominy Valley RV Park in Candler, North Carolina about two weeks ago and I left in a Friday afternoon after I got out of work, packed up, hooked up, hitched up and took off. Um, one of the things that was very interesting is that there was a lot of traffic and the reason there was a lot of traffic is because so many people work in Asheville and live in Knoxville or live somewhere along the um, I-40 corridor. And so there was a lot of traffic, even, uh, well, especially in the afternoon when I left. I think I left about four o'clock. So, but once I got out of the gorge um, and through the mountains, um, I then hit Chattanooga, and Chattanooga is beautiful. Um, and it has, uh, you know, the base of Lookout Mountain there in Chattanooga, and so that's a gorgeous place. And I think I swung in through Georgia, and then back into Tennessee, and then into Alabama. So. That tri-state area is very pretty. So if you ever get an opportunity to travel in that geography, in that part of the country, please do because it's very nice. Uh, and the people are, are hugely friendly there. And so it was a very nice trip. So by the time I got to Chattanooga, it was dusk and it was actually starting to get dark. Now I had called Walmart in Fort Payne, Alabama, which was about, I wanna say 100 miles south on 75, uh, south on 75, I think it was 75 or 65 um, in Alabama. And I said, you know, do you do you allow overnight parking? Because I have my Allstays app and the Allstays app says to call. So I called them and typical Southern hospitality, the ladies were like, y'all come on now. We'll, we'll let you spend the night. So <laughs> I ended up um, getting to uh, Walmart. I think it was about 9.30 at night, which was actually good a good trip. And um, went inside and visited with the manager for a little bit, who was incredibly delightful, and um, just you know got permission again from them. And then I went and got some groceries, which I desperately needed because I hadn't been shopping at Candler for probably about a week. So um, I contributed, which was good. The um, parking space and the parking area for boondocking um, was ample. So for those of you who are traveling on that road, it was ample. And uh, except for the parking lot was very loud. You had a lot of, um, uh, you know, young people with their big trucks and it was a Friday night. 
and they were peeling out and stuff in the parking lot, you know, and they did that up until about one o'clock in the morning. This is a 24 hour Walmart. So, but then about one, one thirty in the morning, I guess things quieted down. Now, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the video I posted. This is the first time I had boondock in almost the two years that I've been traveling. Hey, good morning, everybody from Fort Payne, Alabama. Temperature here is about 58 degrees. I just finished my first boondocking experience at Walmart and it wasn't really too bad. It was really loud in the later evening, but then as the night progressed, it got quieter, which is nice. I slept really well, so I'm gonna be getting on the road here pretty soon. Here's a little bit of a, of a look-see. All right, everybody, have a great day. It was pretty exciting. I was a little bit nervous. I was pretty amped from um, you know the trip, but um, and I was also kind of amped because I was actually boondocking. Um, the trailer was great to boondock in, even in a closed up state. Um, it worked really good, so there was no big no big issues in terms of being able to access things like the refrigerator and the bathroom. And the bed was clear, so I was able to lay down and go to sleep. And so I got up early in the morning, made my coffee in the percolator with the propane. So gotta love propane. And um, took off to uh, Alabama, Southern Alabama. And I think it took me about, probably about five hours to go from the, the top of Alabama down to Fairhope. Now I'm currently in Fairhope, Alabama. I'm in a beautiful um, little RV park that's very close to the coast. All right, on to some other topics. So I've had a lot of um, um, a lot of my subscribers ask me how I like the new travel trailer, and I kind of want to give you a lowdown on that. Um, I haven't done one of these RV chats in a long time, so it's I guess it's time. Um, I love the new travel trailer. First of all, it's wonderful to tow. Um, I don't have any issues hooking it up, towing it. Um, you know, it's not as intimidating as the Class A was. Even though my presence on the road is larger than what um, I had with Myrtle, um, I guess it's just a mental thing. I just don't realize it. I don't know. Um, you know, I think the biggest challenge for me is getting gas. I have to really make sure that I strategize um, on my trip where I'm going to stop and get gas. Typically, I'll go to a Flying J or I'll go to a TA or... Um, you know, a pilot. Uh, they seem to be a little bit bigger, and of course, the Flying J's are set up for RVers, so that helps a great deal. But um, I, you know, I've only gotten stuck a couple times since I've been on the road. I've traveled over 2,200 miles so far um, in the RV already. <laughs> I don't know that I ever even traveled that far owning Myrtle for I think almost two years. Um, I actually didn't. I think Myrtle. I ended up putting about 1,400 miles on Myrtle total. Uh, isn't that crazy? Anyway, um, yeah, so gas is a big challenge in, in terms of getting gas. Um, I only have a 23 gallon tank in my in my truck. So, and I'm getting about 11, off the mountains, I'm getting about 11.8 miles to the gallon. On the mountains, I got about 10.3 gallons of miles to the gallon. So you can just see the, 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 the fuel tank going I mean, it's amazing. So, you know, I do have to get gas much more frequently, um, and it, so it is pretty costly. I would have to say though that it's not—it's it's, it's probably as much cost as it was driving Myrtle. I don't see that it's any more than that, except for the fact that I'm on the, the road um, a lot more than I was with Myrtle. Um, let's see. The other thing is, in terms of the space, the space is beautiful. Um, it feels much more spacious. Um, not that I need a lot of space because I don't, but it's, it's, it's just much more spacious than Myrtle was. But the biggest thing that I love the most is the bathroom. Okay, as I said, the bathroom is very spacious and it's, it's really is just very nice. And so what you've got here is you've got this beautiful big shower. Um, and that just makes life so much easier. So if you're out looking for a travel trailer, Get one that has a nice big bathroom. The other addition is, or change I should say, is back here. Now you may recall that I had a couch back here that pretty much pulled out into a bed for guests. 
Well, I don't generally have guests. Now, my one son was going to travel with me, but he made a decision not to. Um, so, what I decided to do was to get rid of the couch, and I set this up as my mobile office. So, this is my mobile office, and um, I work from here every day. And so, it's very convenient. I've got all everything I need. The right side is my personal computer, and the left side is work, which is off right now because I'm off from work, and then I've got a full docking port here that sits up there. So it's been very nice, a very nice addition. I did buy this chair, and this has been a nice addition to the RV as well because I was using this metal chair over here for a while, and that got sore on my back and butt. So this chair has been a very nice addition. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get a smaller little recliner that I can just situate right about here. And when I pull the slide into travel, I can go ahead and just put the recliner here where the tables are because the tables all come down and everything gets stored away when I pack um, to travel. The one thing I've got to do still, which I haven't done since I moved in, is I have to go through all this stuff. Look at this. Oh, this is all stuff that I just threw into the RV uh, when I moved in for Myrtle. And I really need to go through and I need to throw some of this stuff out. Um, and I can't find anything. I'm still, you know, I've been living in this RV for a couple months now and I still can't find anything. So, that's the update on, um, on some of the changes. Alright guys, I just want to tie out this video and say thanks for hanging out with me today. For all my new subscribers, thank you for coming along for the adventure. I'm glad you're here. Please sit back and enjoy some of the photos that I've been able to take since being here in Fairhope, Alabama. I'm going to tell you the sunsets here are pretty darn spectacular. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up and subscribe. Take care now.